Hi everybody, this is Matt. Thanks for watching and welcome back. One of you viewers asked a fantastic question. You put a comment on one of my recent videos and you said, Matt, what kind of handgun would you recommend for an elderly female with arthritis in her hands? You know what? That's a great question because that is so ignored today. A lot of people don't want to talk about it and they don't even think about it unless they have experienced it. So my initial reaction uh, to that when I read that comment was a revolver because with a revolver you're not going to have to rack a slide which gives a lot of people problems especially you know when you age uh, it involves pinch grip and a lot of different things but with a revolver a little caveat you have to understand that the trigger pull weight on a double action revolver uh, far exceeds that in say a semi-automatic pistol like this Glock which is around five pounds so something to consider but all hope is not lost because you can take that revolver to a competent gunsmith and what they can do is they can smooth that action out they can polish the sear and the internals and chances are they can also reduce the spring tension on it to develop a lighter trigger pull for you and that will help the other uh, thing to consider is the caliber um, you might have some issues with recoil control if your grip is really weak and if that's the case dial it down a bit it might even be uh, compromising with something like 22 lr a 22 long rifle round uh, in a revolver because if that's the recoil that you can manage then that's the recoil that you can manage you're certainly not going to uh, use like a Taurus judge or something like that. Now, let's talk about uh, grip strength for a moment. A big challenge for people as they get older is racking the slide on a semi-auto. Now, if you're young, not a problem at all. You see a lot of people that they'll simply use like a little pinch grip. Like this, they'll pinch the back of the slide and they'll slingshot it. So they'll, they'll do this like so and that can be a hard one sometimes so there's a way to deal with that if that's an issue and one is to use what I call a push-pull method and that involves putting your hand over the top of the slide so you're actually gripping it like this the key is practicing doing this grip so you're not coming in front of the muzzle you're not coming up in front of the firearm so what you're going to do is you could do it like so where you're holding this steady and you just come back and let it go or like this and you'll see my my hand come back like so but when you have grip issues you can do a push pull method because you can push out at the same time that you're pulling back which basically doubles the power. So you come over and it'll look like this. You come over and you do this. Makes it a lot easier, okay? So hopefully that helps. Not knowing your condition, if your doctor says it's okay and you can manage the pain, a little therapy ball can help to work those joints and strengthen the muscles a little bit. And these therapy balls come in uh, different weights, different levels of softness, and you can use them to do little pinch grips, exercising certain fingers. This one, these little alien looking doohinkies actually are like to expand uh, the, uh, the hand. But you can use a rubber band or something like this, and also, again, if it's not painful, you can do this to work stuff out. But anyway, that's just a couple of suggestions, but I really, really appreciate that question because like I said, a lot of people don't talk about it. And if you have more questions, let me know. I'll be glad to uh, discuss it. So thanks for that. And as always, hey, everybody, thanks for watching. Really appreciate it. And until next time, have a good one and be safe out there.